sometimes track and field is super frustrating to me. Um, so let's just talk about what happened last weekend. So the plan for this training camp was to get some good training in um, and get a couple good meets in to put up a good score to get myself into a better position of um, actually making the Olympics this year. Um, and that just didn't go as planned. My training leading up to the training camp was super good, super promising, um, super healthy. Um, and then kind of when I got down here, things kind of took a, a left turn. Um, and yeah, I'm just frustrated is the word to best describe how I'm feeling. Um, I had a plan of doing one of three decathlons or two of three decathlons and they all kind of fell through with injury and uh yeah it's hard to say i'm disappointed in my effort wouldn't be good um but to say i'm disappointed with my ability to stay healthy would be uh accurate um i am just super confident in myself of being able to hit the standard, um, but I'm not super confident in staying healthy. Um, that's been my problem since I kind of started my uh, decathlon journey. Um, and yeah, so last weekend I had a meet. Um, I was feeling pretty good going into it. So in the 100, um, I just wanted to have a really good start. Um, and then I ran 11.03, which isn't a good time but it's not a terrible time for me um, and then went over to long jump felt good had a good fault um, the second one was a good jump but it was a fault as well so took my third jump and then instantly when I hit the board I uh, tweaked my hamstring and that was it so again super frustrating so after that I just kind of broke down and I was just like so upset about how my kind of body's letting me down and how I just like can't stay healthy. When I was talking to Caroline after, um, I was kind of describing the way that I was before the meet. She was like, oh, I want like, you just need to be like more excited. And like, I just can't feel like I can get super excited because like I'm always just expecting something to go wrong. And it often does. And I know like people say like, oh, don't think that way. But like when it's happened, like what feels like 95% of the time that I compete it's just hard to get it out of your mind so it's just hard to think about like oh like this is gonna be the meet that like I'm gonna hit standard because it's just like oh like I'm gonna do a couple of events and something's gonna tweak and I'm gonna have to pull out so yeah track and field is very frustrating and I just wanted to give like a I don't really know what the purpose of this video was kind of give the people that are following our journey kind of an update of what happened last weekend um, and just kind of say what I'm feeling I'm just kind of venting right now just want to make a really short video about how I'm feeling um, so now just kind of the plan is to put all the eggs in one basket and we essentially have to hit Olympic standard at nationals um, they are making the decision for nationals uh, May 17th. Um, so they're either going to be in Quebec or a different province, depending on the restrictions in Canada. And hopefully they have a decathlon. And if they don't, then I'll find a decathlon in the state somewhere. Um, but now it's one and done. I need to hit Olympic standard um, again. If I can stay healthy, I feel like I can do that. Um, but now I have to get back on, I don't know, I don't know. I need to figure something out. So it's probably, I think like two months till nationals. So just need to work away, back on the grind, get the body healthy, stay healthy, figure something out and, uh, yeah, back to work. So thanks for following along. Um, Caroline is still competing. She has three meets left down here um, so uh, they're all pretty big so things should be good so subscribe below to kind of follow along with our journey 
Um, two months till nationals for me, three more meets for Caroline, and then obviously there's going to be more in the future for her. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, that's it.